again welcome back to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification so you'll be notified every time I upload a video okay so today I am excited because I have a wig from Beauty Forever and y'all this is a kinky straight V part wig and I really been wanting one because they just look so good to me and it's like really like low maintenance you don't really have to do anything so I really want to get my hands on one so I got it from Beauty Forever and this is the V part wig right here so um, if you guys watched my other V part wigs I have quite a few I'm obsessed with them um, the difference between them are that the lace where this parting is is super super thin and I love that because my hair is really fine and when I have bulky like you part wigs that have thick wefts or like a thick well lace isn't really that thick but it's like a you part wig that has like a thick weft it's really hard for me to leave a tiny bit of hair out because my hair is so fine so with this I can literally leave a tiny 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 bit of hair out and I love it so I'm going to show you guys the construction of the wig before I show you how to put it on. Okay, so this is the V part wig and here's the inside of it. There are combs, four combs over here, one in the middle. I don't ever use this one. And then there's like a comb in the back. I crisscrossed my wigs to make it super, super tight because I did find it a tiny bit loose. Um, but as you guys can see, this is a kinky straight wig. And it's super long. So this is kinky straight. All right, so before I put this on, I wanna show you guys how much hair I have left out. So I have this much hair, it is a tiny bit, and y'all ignore my braid pattern. Um, I cannot braid like back, so I just put like these little anchor braids right here. But I should've went all the way back um, to here with leaving hair out, but it's okay for the video for right now. But this is all the hair I have left out. And then when I part it, which this is not a straight part, but that's how much I'll have. So we're gonna put this on. Now. All right, so I wanna show y'all how easy this is, okay? So all you have to do is just open up the snaps on the inside. And then I like to start, of course, on one side, like focus on one side. So I just put the snaps into my little so-called anchor braid I have going on here and put it on the other side, snap it down, and I'm gonna pull the rest of it back down like that. So up here, like I said before, I should have left a little bit more hair up right there, but it's okay. So I'm just gonna take that, so it should look like this. All right, super easy. And honestly, I only put the snap in right here. Um, I didn't even put this one in. Let me do that. There we go. Okay, so after that, I'm just going to comb my hair out a little bit. And mind you, I did just blow dry my hair. That's it. I didn't put a flat iron on it. And I am just going to part it down brush them in the back so it looks like this I know it's looking a little crazy right now but y'all this is the best part okay all you have to do is get a brush and brush it in to blend it and y'all this is like amazing do y'all see that like what okay so I'm gonna do the other side and my hair is a little bulky back here because I twisted my hair instead of braiding it um, to make it flatter so it's a little puffy right now but we're gonna ignore that so yeah so all I did was just brush it to blend it in and I noticed with my hair um, I have to use like little product on my hair when I blow dry it because my hair is very fine so it picks up product really quickly and it will start looking a little stringy, which will not blend with this right here. So I'm just going to brush it in and brush this down. And y'all, this looks bomb. 
you'll see that. And then I'm just gonna go in with some edge control. I'm gonna use my Style Factor edge control and I'm going to lay my little baby hairs down in the front here. do the left side that way even though I feel like it should go the other way I don't know why I always do that but yeah that's what I do cool this up a little bit you put the comb in I forgot all about the comb put the comb in on the side like a lot All right, and I'm just gonna press down and voila, I am done with that. Okay guys, I'm all done and y'all, this looks so amazing. Like this is the perfect like go-to, like you don't really wanna put any heat on your hair, but you still wanna have some like straight hair, wear it down style. Y'all look at this, I'm gonna get close so you can see like my scalp, okay? Okay, so here is what it looks like. Um, ignore like all the shininess I have going on with my hairs in the front. But this is what it looks like. It blends super, super easily. Like look at this. So my hair is like, oh my gosh, I can't even find my hair right now. Like this is a piece of my hair. Like here's my hair and it just blends in seamlessly seamlessly with this y'all this looks really really good here's like another angle of it y'all this looks bomb i'm loving this wig and it is so cute so like i said this is a kinky straight wig and i believe this one is 24 inches so it comes all the way down like to here I'm 5'3", so it comes down to here. Y'all, I think it's so cute. Oh my gosh. Y'all, when I wear straight hair, this is like the straight hair that I'm looking for because I, I don't know, I just love like full voluptuous hair. And if it's straight, I still want it to be super full. And I'm just like loving the way this is looking. Um, I'm probably gonna add some curls in it one day just to see how that goes with it. I'm sure that will still look cute. I feel like it will look even more natural. It will look like a, I don't know, blown out curly style or something. If I just added some curls on it, um, I'll probably put like flexi rods. I really don't wanna put heat on it because I wanna keep like, you know, the kinky straight type texture. So I think it would be cute if I added like some, uh, um, not perm rods, some flexi rods and put it in overnight and just see how that goes with it. But y'all, this is so cute. So um, like I said, this is from Beauty Forever. Came in this box, it says Beauty Forever. I did write Kinky Straight on it. Um, so I can remember um, when I was washing the hair, which hair it was. And I did um, co-wash this hair first. Um, I always wash the hair first before I do the video, just so you guys can see what it looks like even after you wash it. So this is what it looks like after a fresh, fresh wash. Um, the hair came with, um, uh, let's see, it came with a scarf, it came with some lashes of course, and some uh, hair clips. But y'all, this is so cute. Let me know how you like this. I kinda wanna try to move back so you guys can see better. Like, look at this, y'all, okay. All right, I'm just chilling, okay. But yeah, I love this. So I am going to be wearing this a whole lot. Um, I feel like this will be great, especially like when I go to work and stuff. Um, I don't have to really do much to it in the morning. 
um but yeah this this is giving what it's supposed to give you guys it is so i'm gonna leave all the specs to this hair from beauty forever i hope you guys enjoyed this video please let me know if you like this wig or not i think it's super cute super easy you don't have to put a flat iron to it just make sure you blow dry your hair really really good and bam you get this okay all right so i will see you guys next time thank you for watching bye